On July 1, 2025, NASA proudly declared 3I Atlas just another interstellar comet. They ignored that it is one million times more massive than Oumuamua and that it was flagged as interstellar within 48 hours. Official statements fade, but 12 anomalies haunt the scientists who found it. If the experts assure us nothing is strange, why does the real mystery begin where their answers stop? Rows of journalists cluster in the Greenbelt Auditorium as NASA officials take their places at the front table. The air is thick with anticipation, but the tone from the podium is measured. A spokesperson in a blue flight jacket leans into the microphone and reads from a prepared sheet. Based on current data, 3I Atlas is classified as an active interstellar comet. It displays an icy nucleus, a coma of gas and dust, and follows a hyperbolic trajectory consistent with an origin outside the solar system. The crowd listens, pens poised, as the official voice continues. There is no evidence to suggest anything beyond natural cometary behavior. No mention is made of the object's staggering size, its rapid interstellar classification, or the flagged anomalies that dogged internal discussions. Instead, the message is clear and unyielding. The comet is normal. The science is settled. The press conference moves briskly through slides of faint images and orbital diagrams, each reinforcing the certainty of the verdict. Questions from reporters are met with careful, technical replies. The data fit known cometary models, one scientist explains. We observe outgassing, dust production, and a nucleus consistent with other active comets. There is no room for speculation or for the strange edge cases that have circulated in the community. No reference to the object's mass, which dwarfs previous interstellar visitors. No curiosity about the rapidity of its interstellar flagging, just 48 hours from discovery to confirmation. The official line stands, 3I Atlas is a comet. The script is followed to the letter. The audience, a mix of seasoned science reporters and curious onlookers, shifts in their seats. Some scribble the official statements into their notebooks. Others glance at their phones, already comparing NASA's words to the more fevered speculation online. The room is filled with the hum of quiet skepticism, but the press conference does not linger. The spokesperson thanks attendees for their interest in this remarkable visitor and says updates will be shared as more data become available. Outside, the conversation turns quickly. The official message is one of calm authority, but the lack of engagement with the object's most extraordinary features leaves questions hanging in the air. It is a verdict delivered with confidence, but not with curiosity. For those watching closely, the silence around the anomalies is louder than any reassurance. The press conference ends, but the real story is only beginning. On the night of July 1, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile recorded a faint, fast-moving object against the backdrop of distant stars. The initial detection triggered a rapid sequence of alerts through the Minor Planet Center's network. Within two days, orbital calculations flagged the newcomer as hyperbolic, an unmistakable signature of interstellar origin. This was not just another comet from the Oort cloud. Its path cut straight through the solar system, inbound from deep space, and destined to leave just as quickly. Behind the scenes, the discovery set off a flurry of activity. Atlas team leads Larry Denno and John Tonry, along with the Minor Planet Center director Matthew Payne, worked through the night, double-checking astrometry and debating the odds. In private channels, the urgency was clear. If the numbers held, this would be only the third interstellar object ever confirmed. Archival searches soon turned up pre-discovery images from mid-June, captured by both Atlas and Caltech's Zwicky Transient Facility. Each new data point tightened the orbit, locking in the verdict. This was an interstellar visitor, now officially designated 3I Atlas. The announcement landed with scientific precision. The object's trajectory, brightness, and activity were logged and shared with observatories worldwide. Yet, in the technical communiques and public releases, one detail lingered in the background, a growing list of flagged anomalies. Within the discovery team, a catalogue of 12 persistent oddities began to circulate. These ranged from the object's coma structure to unexplained deviations in outgassing, subtle shifts in brightness, and hints of asymmetry in early imaging. The list grew as more data poured in. Each item was a question mark, 
a puzzle piece that did not quite fit the standard commentary playbook. Official statements, however, remained tightly focused on what could be confirmed. The press releases highlighted the hyperbolic orbit, the active coma, and the interstellar designation. The anomalies, 12 in total, were never discussed publicly and were left unaddressed in the rush to define the object as familiar. For the Atlas team, the thrill of discovery came with a sense of unfinished business. The numbers told one story, but the data hinted at something stranger lurking beneath the surface. As the world's telescopes turned toward three, Atlas, those silent red flags hung in the air, waiting for someone to ask the next hard question. The numbers behind 3i Atlas tell a story that official statements leave untouched. On paper, this is not just another interstellar visitor. Its estimated mass is so large it barely fits the same category as its predecessors. Compared to Oumuamua, the first object of its kind detected in 2017, 3i Atlas is one million times more massive. Even 2i Borisov, which showed off a respectable cometary display in 2019, is dwarfed by this newcomer. Astronomers calculate that 3E Atlas could span tens of kilometers across, with a mass approaching that of the largest native comets ever observed. This is not a subtle difference. The leap in scale is so extreme that it stretches the expected range for random interstellar debris. With only three such objects ever tracked, the odds of drawing one so large so soon are vanishingly small. Statistical models built on what we know about interstellar space predict a far more gradual spread in size and mass. The sudden appearance of a gigaton-scale body after two much smaller visitors is a statistical outlier. Some researchers argue that selection bias or misdetections could explain the gap, but the numbers remain stubborn. If the population of interstellar objects really included so many giants, we would expect to see more of them by now. Instead, 3i Atlas stands alone, a massive anomaly in a field of cosmic pebbles. The intrigue deepens when you look at the path it carved through our solar system. The trajectory of 3i Atlas is almost eerily precise. Its inclination with respect to the ecliptic, the plane where all the major planets orbit, is about 0.2 degrees. That is an alignment so tight it is measured in fractions of a degree, not the broad sweeps typical of interstellar wanderers. Most objects from beyond the solar system arrive at random angles, crossing the planetary plane wherever chance takes them. But 3i. Atlas glides almost perfectly along the solar system's equator, as if following a route mapped out in advance. Probability models run by dynamicists suggest that such a close alignment is less than 1% likely. It is a configuration that makes life easier for astronomers, letting observatories around the world track the object for months as it moves through well-studied skies. But it also raises eyebrows. Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist known for challenging consensus, points out that when an object's size and trajectory both defy the odds, it is time to question the easy labels. He draws on the old Trojan horse analogy, what looks like a harmless delivery from afar might be hiding something more inside. Loeb's call is simple. Do not dismiss the possibility of intention just because the surface seems familiar. The official line holds that 3i Atlas is a comet, behaving as comets do. But the numbers, its staggering mass and its nearly flat trajectory, open the door to questions that cannot be swept aside by routine. In the world of interstellar discovery, such statistical outliers demand a second look, not a quick verdict. Sherlock Holmes once warned, there is nothing more deceptive than an obvious fact. That warning rings out every time a scientific mystery is declared solved before the evidence is truly in. The story of 3 Atlas and the way it has been handled in public has become a case study in that kind of epistemic blind spot, a lesson in how the urge to reassure can sometimes cut against the spirit of discovery. The pattern is not unique to astronomy. In Italy, the Campi Flegre supervolcano has simmered beneath Naples for centuries. Its restless ground and periodic gas emissions have sparked both anxiety and official calm. Each time new tremors or changes in gas composition are detected, authorities downplay the risks, emphasizing routine monitoring and the absence of imminent danger. The goal is to avoid panic, 
but the effect is often skepticism. Over time, the public learns to read between the lines, sensing when the official script is being followed a little too closely. A similar script played out during NASA's November 2025 livestream meant to showcase new images of 3i Atlas. After a week's delay due to weather, the broadcast finally began, drawing a surge of viewers eager for a closer look. About 15 minutes in, as the host described the comet's coma, a bright angular shape streaked across the screen. Social media lit up instantly. Some joked it looked like the Starship Enterprise, others wondered if it was a glitch, a cosmic ray, or something more. On the broadcast, the NASA team did not acknowledge it. Instead, a few awkward seconds passed, then the stream cut to a placeholder graphic. A message appeared that read, Technical difficulties, please stand by. The event became an instant flashpoint. Clips of the Enterprise moment ricocheted across the internet, fueling speculation and memes. What stood out was not just the unexplained object, but the silence that followed. No on-air discussion, no follow-up, no clarification, just a sudden end to the conversation. In the absence of answers, the incident became a symbol. For critics, it captured the sense that official channels are more comfortable repeating safe labels than engaging with the unpredictable. Avi Loeb's Holmesian warning feels especially pointed here. When institutions treat anomalies as inconveniences, the public's curiosity does not disappear. It just finds other outlets. The demand for better data, open discussion, and honest uncertainty grows stronger with every unanswered question. The story of 3i Atlas is no longer just about a comet, it is about how we confront the unknown, and whether we are willing to look past the obvious facts to see what else might be hiding in the data. High rise the powerful camera aboard Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, was pointed away from its usual Martian targets on October 3, 2025. The goal was to capture a rare interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, as it swept through the solar system. The result was underwhelming, a faint, fuzzy blob just a few pixels across. With a resolution of about 30 kilometers per pixel and the spacecraft jittering during its 3.2 second exposure, any hope of crisp detail vanished. The nucleus, likely smaller than 5 kilometers, was buried in the blur. Officially released images matched expectations, showing only the brightest inner coma with no sign of jets, structure, or anything that might settle the swirling debates. Yet outside the institutional glare, a different kind of observation was taking shape. Amateur astronomers, armed with modest telescopes and determination, began stacking dozens or even hundreds of exposures. By aligning each frame on the comet's shifting nucleus and using careful digital processing, backyard scientists pulled out faint jets and asymmetric features invisible in the official data. In some of these images, narrow plumes fan out from the core, shifting subtly over hours. The contrast is striking. Billion-dollar spacecraft return little more than a smudge, while hobbyist rigs reveal dynamic activity. This is not about conspiracy or hidden data, it is about the limits of hardware and the ingenuity of the observing community. HiRISE was never designed for long exposures on distant, fast-moving targets. Amateurs, by comparison, can adapt, experiment, and refine their techniques in real time. Their results do not replace the need for definitive spectroscopy or high-resolution space imaging, but they do push the boundaries of what is possible from the ground. In the story of 3i Atlas, the sharpest glimpses of truth sometimes come from the quiet persistence of those watching from their own backyards. December 19, 2025 stands as the critical date on every astronomer's calendar. That night, 3i Atlas will sweep within 1.8 astronomical units of Earth, a rare opportunity for the world's most powerful telescopes to train their instruments on an interstellar visitor in real time. Months of planning have gone into this window. Hubble, with its wide field camera, 3 and STIS spectrograph, is scheduled for deep imaging and ultraviolet scans. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unmatched infrared sensitivity, will probe the chemical makeup of the comet's jets and dust, searching for signatures that could distinguish natural outgassing from something less familiar. On the ground, the Keck Observatory, the Very Large Telescope, 
Gemini and Subaru have all synchronized their observing runs. Their goal is to capture the velocity, composition, and structure of the jets erupting from 3I Atlas, and to measure the mass and reflectivity of its nucleus with unprecedented precision. This is not a routine comet campaign. Spectroscopy teams are preparing to analyze every trace gas, carbon monoxide, cyanogen, and water vapor, while photometric arrays will monitor the brightness and variability of the coma. If the jets match the thermal profiles and chemical fingerprints of solar system comets, the natural explanation gains ground. But if the ejection speeds, directions, or molecular ratios stray too far from expectation, the debate over artificiality will only intensify. Every data point, every spectrum, every light curve will be scrutinized for clues. The stakes are clear. For the first time, a coordinated global network will watch an interstellar object at its closest pass, with the world waiting for answers. The data will not just settle scientific curiosity. They will test the boundaries of what we think we know about visitors from beyond the solar system. In this December window, transparency and open access are not just ideals but necessities. The verdict on 3i Atlas will be written in the numbers, and this time, the world will be watching. Right now, the solar system hosts a visitor whose mass, path, and behavior defy easy explanation. The urge to label it just a comet risks blinding us to discovery. When official narratives move faster than the evidence, science becomes less a search for truth and more a performance. The universe rewards those who stay curious, especially when the answers might change everything. What do you see in the data? Let's talk below.